Yes, how are you all doing? Hi. Hey there, Seth, how are you doing? Yeah, very good, oh, got a broken arm. What's happening there? <laughs> oh, no. I know. I had surgery. I had to get my whole hand reconstructed. It's a very long story and we'll probably use up all of my all five right. minutes. Okay. <laughs> um, but I will start with you, Marlon. I was wondering, because when I watch this film, I know it is a riotous comedy, but I actually found it quite sad watching a film that reminded me of a time when we could all just kind of get together. It's something that obviously now with so, um, social distancing and sort of quarantining, it's so hard now just to get everyone in the same room at the same time. And I was just wondering when you watch this film back, if you get sad remembering the kind of shoot and remembering a time when you were able to mix and mingle around a, a big group of people. Yes, <laughs> I definitely miss it. I love a good gathering. Um, so it is, I, I really look forward to, but I do think watching it now, I was just saying to these guys earlier, what a wonderful time to have this movie come out just because we get to live vicariously through these moments and also knowing that it will come back um, and being taking away from it, just how um, grateful you know, I feel to have such great friends in my life and I cannot wait to hold them again and hug them and, and celebrate life with them. And Nicole, obviously you've written several times before, but I was wondering about the decision to direct this particular screenplay. And if that was one that you made right from the offset or if that kind of developed a bit later on. It was, it was my manager. I have to credit my manager. I had uh, directed a video for the Hillary Clinton administration, not administration, whoops, uh, campaign. And she just was like, you're directing Friendsgiving. And I, and I, I was, I was like, can you, can I just say that I'm directing it? And she's like, yeah, we're saying you're directing it. That's it. And that was, that was it. I was just, I, I said yes. And I'm thankful that I did. And Ryan, I wanted to ask you about being part of a, a cast and crew made up of so many kind of brilliant women. If that's something you're used to, have you done many times in your career? And if it's something that you're hoping will happen more as we sort of progress into the future of this industry? Well, I'm uh, constantly surrounded by women. I have three daughters and a beautiful wife, so I'm very comfortable. Um, and these powerhouse ladies that I got to work with was incredible to watch them. And uh, they're so funny and their improv was incredible and... Dancing with Jane Seymour was so fun. And yeah, it was awesome. What about the powerhouse? <laughs> <laughs> but, Ryan, but Ryan, have you ever had a, a disastrous Thanksgiving or has yours always gone quite quite to plan? Uh, they're always perfect. Oh. <laughs> I want to come to your house for this. Yeah. <laughs> um, Marlon, I, Marlon, I went to a um, a friend's house. They did this kind of Swedish get together. So I've got a Swedish friend, and we all ate crawfish and we all sung songs, and it yeah. was really fun. And we all got really, really drunk. I was wondering if that's a tradition that my, is my friend having me for a ride, or is that a thing that you guys? <laughs> oh no, it's my to? it's my favorite tradition, by the way. Um, I I host one here every year, although um, this year was difficult, didn't happen. Uh, but I do love a good crawfish season it is again it's like our it's our thanksgiving we don't have thanksgiving in sweden although it's very different because <laughs> i mean you're eating bottom feeders and drinking they basically you drink the schnapps the you know 90 proof alcohol to kill the bacteria of the bottom feeders but um i really think it's just an excuse to get drunk together that's is it alan lay alan lay is that a thing Huh? That's what, was is there like a man called Alan Lay or something about Alan Lay? Or I just made no. Okay, I was being taken. <laughs> they might be having you on that. Did they? Yeah, I thought they might have been five hours in when you were really drunk. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, my final uh, question, Nicole, I was just wondering uh, about the um, this film's obviously got so many big characters all in one place at one time, which obviously is um, must have been quite a good job in the editing suite. But I was wondering about directing so many big personalities and having such a big crew and cast on set and how you managed with, with that side of things. It was a blast. Uh, they were all uniquely funny. And the challenge was to really celebrate each of their different comedic styles and put it all into one. And I feel like, and I hope that each one of them has, I believe they all have a, a, a fun moment in the movie. And uh, it, was, it was hard to choose takes and or different jokes and and there was just a, a ton of editing to uh be had and thankful that my editor julie cohen was was there to help me do that well thanks so much for your time today guys and best luck with the movie thank you Amen. later ladies and gentlemen you're watching
Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice.